Mark knows uh, where, where this place is probably because he g gave Nia the uh, papers of the, where the place is and everything. So Pablo is useless. <laughs> Can I ask? I was thinking about the blueprints uh, because that would have to be of the whole uh, bottom floor of the ship and not just that specific place. Yeah, and I don't think Nia would tell uh, uh, Mac. No, I don't think Max has, I don't think Mark has full knowledge uh, of the situation. I uh, agree with uh, you. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, Mark, you, Mark, and then. But yeah. you might remember uh, Nia asking you for that information and going, yes. okay. Uh, my, my analysis in this is that Paolo is not at all the natural calm leader as, as, as Gregory. No. Uh, and my, my, <laughs> and I feel he, kind he of has, sorry for him, actually. He's not completely, yeah. you know, not completely uh, crazy. Yeah. Nobody is calm when somebody is holding you, staring you in the eyes. No, no, no. He's very, he's very cooperative. Mark will look at your orb. I, I am, I'm sorry. I, I dragged you into this. I am, no, I'm, no, no, no. It was. Sorry. I'm, I, 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 I dragged you into this. Apologizing so that... to each other. <laughs> <laughs> And, I, and that's I'm, a conflict. We have to draw cards. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, no, no, how Swedish can you get? Uh, Who gets to really yeah. say the apology? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> sorry. But, 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 Mark, but Mark is like, I, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I dragged you in, into this and I, I put you into me. I, I, I'm going to try to set things right. Right. I, I have been mean to Nia. I'm been bringing her in there. I, I'm, I'm going to fix this. Uh, you you don't have to go. Uh, I I I will try to fix this. Uh, and, and, and then Mark will look at Pablo. That's but, Mark's thing. That's right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, and and Mark will look at Pablo and like take take me there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. And he will. And take you there is to Gregory or where, where yeah, there, he there, thought there. Gregory is. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. And I I will of course I want to. F Join. I, I, this is this is not good, but it's uh, this has to be done. <laughs> the, I'm not comfortable with this, but I will follow also. Mark will always have a hand. He will look mm -hmm. uh, calm and smoothing on Pablo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> have a hand li like like that. Oh yeah, and and walk with him all the time. So if he does something, he will. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. For Paolo <laughs> takes, you know, is well aware of the, of this, and is walking very, you know, he is very obedient. Maybe, okay. Maybe Mark, Mark, Mark will actually hold him in the in a waist, like like they were together, but they are not. Oh, I see. Okay, whichever way you want is good. Because it Who feels wants? more natural if you hold. Um, That's true. Through, uh, That's true. Yeah. So well, you hold him like that. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Tell me uh, uh, a little bit more about, well, let's see. I think it's time for somebody else to put us somewhere. Sandra has told us that uh, she's ready to inflict pain and suffering. <laughs> On herself or others? <laughs> Both, probably. <laughs> uh, well, I... Um... Uh, regarding the workers at the back, uh, it, uh, well, I tell them that I was never here, mm -hmm. and uh, <clears throat> you know, try to bribe them who needs it with some, you know, cigarettes or something that I have in my stash for bribing people. And I, uh, I don't even want to know where those were, <laughs> but go on, yeah. <laughs> so, well, I will get them to them later after I get to my stash. Mm -hmm. So. Um, but I will uh, tell them that, uh, not very much, but there are some people, and by this time, I, I came from that room over there, and I'm supposed to be dead by now. So, uh, if, uh, and I'm telling this to the one that I have most confidence in, okay. you know, and, tr and trust in. And so I asked 
this worker if and since he works with you know the mechanics and stuff he would have some business there sometimes so i will ask him to go and collect my body oh. and uh, you know screw in the you know the lids and stuff that i had to unscrew oh to... Uh, you broke some things he says that's what yeah. you're telling me you've been in there breaking it... things yeah, so you need to go and fix that and, uh, yeah, collect my body. Mm -hmm. And uh, then I will wait till night where I can sneak the corridors uh, without getting noticed. And uh, then I will uh, get myself to Keith's uh -huh. living quarters. Okay, so that, I think, is where we really are starting the scene. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> So I will tell Keith about all of what happened. I will give him the recordings. I tell them about uh, Mark's father and what state he was in and uh, uh, all the plans and about Laura. And I um, ask him if he had made a successful contact with uh, the head of the lab at the university in uh, which we studied and... Uh, well, I want yeah. to give a little bit more of a description. Um, on uh, the wall, uh, by above his sleeping place, uh, is a uh, very... Um, a very trippy image all along the whole length of the bed <clears throat> on the wall of of all this and it moves it's like a lava lamp you know yeah kind of of thing it's not that uh technological it's just some sort of fun material or surface that does this um and so it's there and uh he has nice pajamas okay um but at the moment, his his nice uh, uh, pajamas and hair and poster are not helping him because he is getting more and more nervous and upset when you are telling him these things. Uh, he says, first, uh, they requested, uh, you know, these friends of yours uh, requested some, uh, some drugs from me. Um, and uh, I was scared of them, so I had to give them to them. So uh, they must be using them on, on this guy and people like him. Um, and yes, I did manage to get a, a good contact. Um, with uh, we, we was, I was able to send a message um, back to the university. And I think that we've got a, a chance but I'm really scared. They've, they've got people in the lab. I, I really don't know what we're supposed to do. I mean, they, they keep talking about, they keep talking about our work as if it's some kind of being. It's just a bunch of cells. It's just a bunch, it's a demonstration. This is science. We're just demonstrating this. I mean, these people, what are they there for? What are we mixed up in? I'm really scared, Nia. Yeah, so am I. They, um, they had me killed. Well, th they think they have had me killed. Uh, I managed to get out of there. And uh, uh, I've had one of the workers at the back go and collect my body and, you know, hide the evidence that I got out of there. So... For the moment, I'm dead. Uh, and uh, I did tell them that they should stay out of the lab uh, while I had this meeting with them, since it would raise some eyebrows and people would, you know, notice that some strange activities is, you know, going on. I don't think they care. It seems not. So I I don't know I I don't know should I stay dead and you know sneak <laughs> <laughs> sneak around trying all, to all I know is that if they get their hands on our work my message 
won't have any, I mean, they'll, the, the, everything's ruined. If they get their hands on our work, if they take it away for some reasons of their own, if they, I don't know what they're trying to do, but. You remember that poison that uh, we uh, poisoned the, the whole staff with? I have, Keith says, with some dignity, some, some pride that he has no idea what you're talking about, and neither sh should you. Okay, because I was just thinking the wrong dosage of death could be useful right now. But... Okay. Uh, well, it, we, it, I, it, I don't think I I don't know how to make muffins. <laughs> <laughs> that was the fourth experience. Here goes a fan mail life. to Sandra first. I rule it. Yes. I don't know how to make muffins. Okay, Keith, you're, you, you don't have to be part of this. Thank <laughs> <Right. laughs> I, I sent one fan mail too. I think it was perfect. <laughs> uh, Who did you get fan mail to? Uh, yeah, I have one fan mail from Audience Pool too. Okay. Yeah. okay. So no I guess, well, it doesn't have to be muffins, but I, 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 I can address <laughs> you. Uh, I, I'll, I'll keep you out of this. <laughs> Listen, if all the muffins, you know, I've set, I, I already happened. For reasons, I already happen to have set up some uh, some equipment so that if we need to preserve our results safely, uh, I can do it. I know a guy. Great. Yeah, yeah that would be great. So... Keith always seems to know a guy. Yeah, that's why I love Keith. <laughs> right. So I will hold off with the wrong dosage of the substance for now. Until you contacted your guy. And let's see where that gets. Well, get what, us. what I mean is that, that he is, I, I have a little bit of equipment set up so that if we need to get our things out of the laboratory and put them in a safer place, they will be protected and in the right kind of environment. It's. Yeah. Well, and, and the radiation, and the radiation there isn't that bad. Well, you know, you can get radiation from eating pork, you know, the hogs, so... Uh. <laughs> Let's just get to it. <laughs> A little radiation doesn't kill anyone. So, yeah, let's get to it. Okay. Maybe that would be a safer place for me to hide, hide as well, daytime. Well, okay, so we need to get our... We need to get it out of the laboratory uh and you have to be dead and and what are we going to do well first of all we need to get these people to get their hands off the lab and uh, not make them take over the ship uh, in which they intend to do somehow Keith's and confused. Uh, take over what? Yeah. <laughs> they uh, they spoke about taking over the ship and with these cells they want to grow some kind of life and that's what they wanted me for and they wanted me to tend to Mark's father as uh, since they had poisoned him because he wasn't really stable at the time and uh, they said they had a plan B for him if I wouldn't care for him and uh, they wouldn't really tell what that plan B was. So, um, 
I guess. Even bad life support is life support. 